The thousands of people who died on 9-11, their fate was sealed that day. We don't know when we walk out of here today if this is our last day. Today, before you walk out of here, I'll give you an opportunity to get that right. That answer to that question is the most important decision you'll ever make. I'm a big hunter. I'm kind of curious. How many people in here hunt or fish? A lot of you. Many different ways to take a deer. With a rifle, a shotgun, a bow, a pistol. And probably many of you have taken it the number one way with a pickup truck or a car. Yes. Many different ways to be successful taking a deer. And, there's a little, and, and you know what the Bible says? There's one way to get to God. John 14, 6. Put a star. If you have a Bible, put a star next to John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He didn't say, I am a way. He said, I am the way. Now, people will say, but Mark, just like hunting, there's many different ways to take a deer. There's many different ways to get to heaven. You can come to a church, maybe a Baptist church, maybe a Southern Baptist church. You can be baptized. You can follow the Ten Commandments, follow the golden rules. Don't look at pornography. Don't cheat on your taxes. You know, put in eight hours at work. You can do all these good things. And God said, no, there is one way. I'm an engineer, and I can remember not too long ago seeing a, map, a, a poster and it had this mountain and all these roads and one would go this way and one would go this way and all these roads led to the top of this mountain and underneath it it said doesn't matter which road you get on they all lead the same place just get on one and that is a lie straight from the pit of hell if you think all roads lead to heaven see I live in Alabama and if I had got on 65 South Friday I'd be on the beaches in Florida right now I wouldn't be here. All roads don't lead to heaven. There is one way to God. A lot of people think, well, God's going to get out of scales one day, put our good works and our bad works, and if I'm just a little bit better, God's going to let me into heaven. Do you know how many sins you get to commit before you're on your way to hell? One. One sin will send you to hell. See, if anybody should be going to heaven. It should be us today, here today, right? Because we're in church. We're really good moral people. And God says, no. Across the country today, across the world today, there are millions of people in church who are on their way to hell. And many of them don't even know it. All roads don't lead to heaven. We are saved by grace. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, for by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Our pastor said something recently, in the world today, there's 4,200 different religions. 4,199 of them all say one thing. You know what they say? D-O, do something. Fly planes into towers. Come to church, get baptized, obey the Ten Commandments. Be moral. Don't look at pornography. Do something. Kill infidels. Those are religions. They'll send you to hell. Christianity says one thing. Done. It is finished. Is what Christ said when he died on the cross. What do you have? Do you have religion or do you have a relationship? The Ten Commandments, that's what people tell me the most. Mark, but you don't know me, I'm trying to follow the Ten Commandments. I think when I stand before God, I'm going to say, God, but I tried to obey your Ten Commandments. Did you ever look at those closely? If you tell a lie, you're a liar. If you take something that isn't yours, you're a thief. If you look at somebody with impure thoughts, you're committing adultery in your heart. If you take God's name in a non-kind way, you're blaspheming. If I look at your stuff, I'm coveting in my heart if I want it that way. Do you realize how silly it is to think that you're going to stand before God one day and God says, why should I let you into heaven? Well, God, I tried to obey your Ten Commandments. Now, I know I'm a liar, a thief, a coveter, adulterer, a blasphemer. That's five of the ten. And then there's a verse that says, if you broke one commandment, you broke all ten of them. Do you realize how foolish that is to think that you're going to stand there and show God that you tried to obey the Ten Commandments? 
Galatians 2.16, it says, Know that a person is not justified, declared righteous by the works of the law, but by faith in Christ Jesus. So we too have put on our faith in Christ Jesus that we may be justified by the faith in Christ, not by the works of the law. Because by the works of the law, no one is justified. See, if we could do something and be good enough to earn our way to heaven, Jesus Christ wasted his time dying on the cross. See, the Ten Commandments, the law, simply show us our shortcomings, our sins. The Ten Commandments show us our need of grace. Christ fulfilled the law when he died on the cross. He took our shame, our failures, our sins on himself. He transferred our righteousness to our account. The law, or they tr he transferred his righteousness to our account. The law was conditional, but Christ's redemption is unconditional, unmerited, and final. The Bible says if the best thing you have that you're going to show Christ why he ought to let you into heaven is his filthy rags. Isaiah 64, 6. It says if we're trying to get to heaven by our good deeds, Christ looks at them as filthy rags, as leprosy cloths. Titus 3, 5. Not by works of righteousness, good deeds that we have done, but according to his mercy, he has saved us.